Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today, I will cover an important and interesting topic. The Shahab series of missiles from Iran, especially the Shahab 1, Shahab 2, and Shahab 3 missiles. Each of these plays a significant role in military power and position, have had strategic Iran. Starting with the Shahab 1, which is a short-range missile that entered service in the late 1980s and was derived from the Scud B, initially imported from countries such as Syria and Libya. We will examine how this missile allowed Iran to target places like Baghdad during the Iran-Iraq War. Moving on to Shahab 2, an upgrade over its predecessor with increased range and accuracy, it was successfully tested in the early 90s and used in various military exercises to demonstrate its power. Finally, we'll talk about the Shahab 3 medium-range ballistic missile, which significantly increases Iran's strike capability, potentially reaching targets up to 2,000 kilometers away depending on its type. This analysis provides a detailed look at the development, specifications, and strategic implications of these missiles. Let's start. The Shahab-1 missile is an Iranian-made missile that is part of Iran's short-range missile program. This missile is one of the small Scud B missiles that entered Iran from Syria and Libya between 1986 to 1985. This missile, which has a range of 300 kilometers, allowed Iran to target Baghdad during the Iran-Iraq War. Scud B missiles, including Shahab-1, were later imported from countries such as North Korea and Ham. Between the Iran-Iraq War, it is estimated that between 100 and 231 Scud B missiles were fired from Iran to Iraq. Iran started building the Shahab-1 missile between 1988 and 1994 and is now the official producer of this missile. Later, with the production of other advanced missiles and out of operational mode, about 150 Shahab-1 and Shahab-2 missiles were sold to Oman. Also, about 200 more were given to Syria and Lebanon's Hezbollah. The Shahab-2 missile is an Iranian missile that is the successor of the Shahab-1 missile. This missile is a type of Scud-C missile and was successfully tested for the first time in 1990. The maximum range of this missile is 50 meters and it can hit targets in Kuwait, Qatar, Oman, Iraq, and Israel, depending on the launch location. On November 2, 2006, Iran fired a number of these missiles at the opening of the 10-day exercise of the Great Prophet. According to Iran's official TV, 12 missiles were fired, including Shahab-2 and Shahab-3. The range of these missiles was from 300 kilometers, Shahab-1, to 2,000 kilometers, Shahab-3. In this exercise, Iranian experts made changes, such as adding a cluster warhead with a capacity of 1,400 bombs on Shahab-3. Shahab-3 missile, a medium-range liquid-fueled ballistic missile based on North Korea's Ndong-1 missile, which is produced in Iran. The first version of Shahab-3 entered official service in the Iranian Armed Forces in the summer of 2003. The range of this missile is up to 1,300 kilometers, with a 1,200 kilograms warhead, up to 1,500 kilometers with a one-ton warhead, and up to 2,100 kilometers with an 800 kilograms warhead. Until the end of the 2000s, this missile was the most important pressure lever for Iran to defend itself against possible Israeli attacks. This missile was developed by Sanam Industrial Group, one of the subcategories of Iran's defense industries. According to the United States Air Force Intelligence Unit, as of June 2017, less than 50 launch pads of this missile have entered into operational service. Based on the investigation by the International Atomic Energy Agency, the Islamic Republic of Iran may have tested a variety of different fuse, arming and firing systems in the early 2000s to enable Shahab-3 to carry a nuclear warhead. The Shahab-3 missile has been officially manufactured since 2002. This missile is a medium-range ballistic missile that had a range of 1,300 kilometers in the initial versions, which reached 2,100 kilometers in the later optimized versions. The tests of this missile continued from 1998 to 2003, and finally, in 2003, it was officially added to the statistics of Iranian missiles. This rocket uses liquid fuel for propulsion. This missile was shown to everyone for the first time in Azadi Square and during the Holy Defense Week of 1998. This missile is operational today, but it has been removed from the production line. 
Iran's Shahab-3 missile has a range of 2,100 kilometers. The weight of this missile is about 16 tons, its diameter is 1.3 meters, and its length is about 17 meters, and it can carry a warhead weighing 1,000 kilograms to a distance of 1,300 to 1,500 kilometers. In the new example of this missile, which was tested in the Great Prophet 3 exercise in 2008, the range of this missile has been increased to 2,000 kilometers. The Shahab-3 rocket engine produces 26,760 kilograms of thrust, which is enough to travel a distance of 2,000 kilometers. If they want to increase its range, they use lighter warheads. And for this reason, warheads vary in weight from 760 to 1,158 kilograms. Type, Medium Range Ballistic Missile Manufacturer. Iran Defense Industries Organization, Iran Space Organization. Length, 16.58 meters. Weight, 1,780 kilograms in the first model and 2,180 kilograms in the later models. Diameter, 1.38 meters. Range, about 1,300 kilometers in the basic models and 2,000 kilometers in the later models. Engine, Single-stage engine with liquid fuel. Launch weight, 17,480 kilograms. Warhead, between 700 and 1,200 kilograms. Accuracy, 190 meters CEP construction time, 1997. The Shahab-3B missile is an improved version of the initial version of the Shahab-3 missile, which has a range of about 2,000 kilometers. According to the claims of Western intelligence sources, the Iranian Space Organization has started the mass production of the Shahab-3B missile since the beginning of 2008. According to the report of Western intelligence sources, the Shahab-3B production line can produce 75 Shahab-3B missiles per year. Due to the high range of this type of missile, there were discussions about Iran's possible use of this missile against Israel in the event of a war, and this operation was carried out against Israel a few days ago. At the end of this video, I hope that you, my dear friends, have found the information provided useful and informative. The discovery of Shahab missiles and their role in increasing Iran's defense and strategic capabilities is a subject that has always been controversial and important. I invite you to leave your comments, questions, and views about this topic in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and support us by following or sharing. Until next time, take care and enjoy watching more videos. Thank you for watching.